Let us now pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely, and impatient during the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray, loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this, we thank and praise you. To you be glory now and forever. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. Let us all stand as we pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. We have some announcements. 
a T. Virgen de Lourdes, a 400 plus pages of historical data and amazing images awaits you. Get this collector's item now on sale at Ensol Religious Store. Likewise, the Ensol 2023 calendar is still available at the religious store and at the parish office. Thank you. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes on this solemnity of Our Lady of Lourdes with the theme, Simbahang Sinodal, Nagkakaisa, Nakikibahagi, at Nagmimisyon kasama si Maria, ang Birhen ng Lourdes. Our Eucharistic celebration will be presided by Reverend Father Artemio Raimundo of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchin. Please rise. the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
around the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand the right hand of the father have mercy on us Lord, to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exalt, exalt with her. All you who were mourning over her, O oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, like the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor 
and makes rich. He humbles, he exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor. To sit them with nobles, to make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So are you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise and listen to the Holy Gospel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. 
He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated and listen to the homily. Sisters and brothers, it is a feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, the world day of the sick. As you say, this feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, as you, the very important feast for our parish. You see, the devotion to Our Lady of Lourdes was brought by our Capuchin, by our Spanish Capuchins. You know that Our Lady of Lourdes is just near the uh, church in San Sebastian, which is also called Our Lady of Lourdes. About two hours from this church to Our Lady of Lourdes, we used to go there uh, frequently because it is too near our church of San Sebastian in Spain, in the Gipuzkoa province. On February 11, sisters and brothers, in 1858, Bernadette in a way, begged to be allowed to accompany her sister and friends to gather sticks to be used for firewood. She fell behind the other girls because she is slow, and then it happened. According to, his, to her words, I raised my head and looked towards the grotto, I saw a lady dressed in white, wearing a white dress, a blue sash, and a yellow rose on its foot, the same color as the chain of the rosary. The beads of her rosary were also white. Sisters and brothers, the color was yellow and gold. The bishop of Lourdes said that the message of Lourdes is not essentially in words, but rather in actions, in works and gestures. That is why the message of Our Lady of Lourdes is not in words, but in gesture. So, Mary's first gesture we was, in fact, the sign of the cross. That is the first gesture, the sign of the cross. Bernadette imitated her, making the sign of the cross, who, although with the trembling hands, Pope Benedict XVI said, that the message of Lourdes is contained in the gesture of the blessed Virgin Mary. God has so loved the world that he gave himself up for us. This is the message of the cross, mystery of death and glory. That was the first gesture, the sign of the cross. Bernadette always carried her rosary with her. She said, without thinking of what I was doing, I took my rosary in my hands and went on my knees. The lady made a sign of approval and herself took with her hands a rosary which hung on her right arm. Sisters and brothers, so the first gesture is the sign of the cross. The second gesture is the smile. 
Mary smiled. And you are the smile of God. The first time that Saint Bernadette saw the Blessed Virgin Mary, she did not say anything. Instead, she simply smiled, which is meant for us too. Pope Benedict XVI said that her smile, looking down on us, he said, I would like to say humbly too, to those who suffer and to those who struggle and are tempted, to in a way kind of just drawn their backs on life, turn towards Mary. Within the smile of the Virgin Mary lies mysteriously the hidden strength to fight against sickness and for life. With her equally is found the grace to accept without fear or bitterness to live this world at the hour chosen by God. According to Pope Benedict the 16th, sisters and brothers, the smile of God is the true reflection of the tenderness, the source of invisible hope. Sisters and brothers, the pandemic, the COVID-19 is already exiting, but we cannot allow ourselves to be in a way simply to lose our God. We, uh, we have always uh, to be on guard against another pandemic, uh, the pandemic of evil, the pandemic of, you may say, of murder, of killings. Sisters and brothers, the feast of Our Lady of Lourdes reminds us of our origin. The Capuchins arrived in the Philippines in 1886. There was not a simple church dedicated to Our Lady of Lourdes. Very few people knew or were devoted to her. In 1892, Father Berard of Sisa, superior of the Central House, requested Mr. Manuel Flores, Filipino sculptor, to carve an image of Our Lady of Lourdes to place in a little grotto in the wall at the entrance of the convent in first in the Intramuros. The image that today is venerated at Insol is also the work of Mr. Manuel Flores. It was ordered by the Father Berard of Chiesa in 1894. About this image, Monsignor Chapel, the first apostolic delegate to the Philippines, once said, I am a French citizen, and I have visited many times the Grotto in Lourdes in France, but this image surpasses in beauty even our original image in the Grotto of Massabiel, France, designed by a French artist, sisters and brothers, celebrating today the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes we must understand that Mary is our way to God. So therefore, remember always to have the sign of the cross, the first gesture of the Blessed Mother, reminding us that in our life it is the mystery of the cross, the passion, death, and resurrection. You must understand that it is not only suffering, but also the resurrection and glory. Sisters and brothers, I would like to finish this homily, short homily, for us to understand that the Blessed Mother Mary 
is uh, our smile of God. Mary smiled. And the first time St. Bernadette saw the Blessed Virgin Mary, she suddenly smiled. The smile of God. Sisters and brothers, Pope Benedict XVI said that her smile, looking down in us, is our inspiration reflected in our dignity as children of God. This smile is a true reflection of God looking down to us with love. Sisters and brothers, the gift of the Lady of Lourdes to us in this parish, in this rhyme, is a great gift. Our mother, the way to the sun, he, she is always our guide to him. She is the way to Christ. Sisters and brothers, today, Mary, Our Lady of Lourdes, is smiling to us. The smile of God. The smile of our dignity as children of God. The smile of a mother who looks after us in this that part of uh, Quezon City, the Retiro, Can Laon, as national shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes. Our Blessed Virgin Mary up there is smiling to you today because you are here to give glory to the Son because we can only go to the Son through Mary. Sisters and brothers, we give thanks to the Lord today with joy and with thanksgiving and gratitude for the gift of the Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Lourdes, to this parish. Amen. Let us all stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And, and by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward in the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to God our Father, who accomplished great things in Mary and brought her to the glorious throne in heaven. As pilgrims still journeying towards the heavenly kingdom, let us bring our prayers with her and let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the church, Pope Francis, Onesto, our bishop, and all our bishops, priests, and religious, that in the spirit of Mary's piety, they may continue to be faithful in their pastoral care of the whole church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For the leaders of our nation, that they may follow Mary's motherly love and become instruments of peace by building a better world, in the spirit of Mary's humble service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those tormented by pain and suffering, 
that they may bear their crosses bravely when no immediate relief is available. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this Eucharistic banquet, that through the help and intercession of Mary, we may show concern for the sick by visiting them and encouraging them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, that they may rejoice forever with our Blessed Mother, our Lady of Lourdes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we manifest our own personal intentions. Lord, cleanse our hearts that we may receive Christ your Son in the spirit of Mary's faith and obedience. Grant that all who confidently call on our Blessed Mother may experience her maternal help through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your son. No petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise you, mighty deeds, in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Lourdes, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even in earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our Nestor, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her state spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the love of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are thus called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please remain in your seats. Our usherettes will guide you in lining up for communion. Thank you.
Please rise. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.